welcome back to my youtube channel this is ryan ponce this is another macro tutorial wherein you would learn how to run a macro or activate the macro once you hover the mouse or move the mouse over the activex control what you can see on my screen is the example so i'm going to hover the mouse here so without clicking them, it's automatically typing a text, which is my name one letter at a time. So um, you could use this trick maybe to some of your reporting templates. And here's how I did it. So we'll use another sheet and we're going to format the cells according to or you could design it on your own but i um, just going to show you a simple design okay and i'll add let's apply this here formats ryan and we'll add a conditional formatting new rule use formula to determine which cells to format equals I'm saying if a1 is not equal to blank the color should be this Okay, so if this text is blank, it becomes with no color. Blank, blank, blank. Okay, now that you're done with the design, you'll be adding an ActiveX control. You have to go to Developer tab, activate the design mode, and insert. From ActiveX controls, select command button activex control so click on that and place it somewhere in your excel and you can drag it resize it you can resize it in the properties instead you can right click and go to properties as you can see we have the height size and the width so for the height let's say Let's try 60. There you go. For the width, let's try 49. Looks fine to me. Okay. Then um, from the caption, it says command button one. You can remove that instead. Back color will make it white. Back style will change it to transparent. And from there, you can double click this command button and it will lead you to the Visual Basic Editor. The default here would say click. You're going to have to change it to move mouse. All right. So another set of a subroutine has been created. The first subroutine, this one, is no longer required. You can delete this and focus on this subroutine instead. Add the command saying A1 value is equal to R. So if you want to test the macro code, turn off the design mode. All right, and um, let's say I'm gonna go to A1 and delete the contents of it. All right, then I'm gonna hover the mouse. There you go, so it's typing the letter R automatically. Now, 
we're going to add few more codes which is to delete the letters Y, A, N at the same time. So we'll use the similar code. There could be other codes to delete a specific text, but just for this demonstration, I'm going to use the same command. We just need to edit this into B1, C1, D1, and instead of R, we'll make it blank. Let's go ahead and test. Here we go. So let's go ahead and activate the design mode. We'll copy this ActiveX control into B, C, and D. And then we're going to add a few more codes in Visual Basic Editor. So go back to Visual Basic Editor. first part of the subroutine it would say command button one mouse move now if you go back to excel this one um, let's activate the design mode this one refers to command button one this is the name of this activex control so you can do the same with the others just to identify the name of that button so it says command button two three and four so we'll make similar codes for command button 2, 3, and 4. So we can just go ahead and copy this for the second, third, and fourth button. So we'll change this into 2, this into 3, and this one into 4. A few more changes on the... Uh, text values instead of R for A or A1 we'll make it blank and then we'll add a, a letter Y in B1 we'll remove R in A1 and add letter A in C1 and we'll remove R again here and put the letter N in cell D1 let's go back to Excel and We'll go ahead and test. So I'm going to hover the mouse. There you go. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more macro tutorials.